this portion of the lid would be right here. You see that? Mm -hmm. From like there to there. So we want to lay this tool in and measure to the middle. Something like this. Okay? And that's usually going to be a good fit for the lid. So right about the middle of your flange or lip. Okay, set this aside. Set this aside. Don't wire it off just yet. So it helps if we have any adjustments to make later that your pot still could be worked on. And we'll set another bat down and grab some clay. So uh, this is probably somewhere around five to six inches in diameter. And we need maybe just a pound to a pound and a half of clay for this lid. dispense with the centering and just get it centered. So you'll spend some time getting this nicely centered, however long that takes. I'm using the same basic technique of kneading the clay, pushing, wrapping my fingers around, and then a slow release. To make the lid, we bring the clay lower. So we're going to use more top pressure to start to bring it down. You only start bringing it down when it's fully centered. So I get the clay fully centered and then I start to make it lower. Right? And I'll lower it even a little bit more. Think big hockey puck. Okay? And it should be maybe um, two inches less in diameter than the final size at this point. So hockey puck that's, you know, not quite your whole size. It should be shorter than the full dimension. And this will blow your mind, but we're not going to open it on the center. We're going to open it a little bit to um, the right of center in order to leave clay for what? The handle. The handle. So take your sponge or your finger, whatever you want to do, Leave a good inch of clay in the middle, and I just start pushing down. And as I'm pushing down, what pops up? Okay. To get this to be the right size over there, we're going to pull this lip into a little plate edge. But first, we're going to finish the knob. So the knob could either be um, solid, in which case I just start to pinch it and shape it into whatever I want or I can open it and make it sort of a big flared cylinder or whatever you want to do. So I like um, the look of the solid ones like that. So I'll show you how I do that. I pinch in a little bit at the bottom. Not too much because you don't want to tear the clay off. Just a little bit. And then you can shape this any way you want. So um, if I want to at this point I could open it that and then just pull the edges out a little bit. You know, it's just a little little bowl. It's cute, right? So maybe we'll leave it like that. And then to make the edge of this plate, I'm going to have to get my finger underneath here. So take a look, I'm working at three o'clock. I need to push my pinky under there. And then treat this bit of clay like a little bowl. So I'm making another little bowl. I'm going to pinch together and do a little pull. And then I'll pull again. Make a little bowl. And now you're saying this looks too high, right? This is not going to fit and it's too narrow. So to get it to fit nicely, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing I did with the lip of this uh, cookie jar, which is support from underneath, put my fingertip way below the rim, so here I'm doing this so Elias can see right from his angle, and then I'm going to flatten this out. Pretty close. 
So I need to be a tiny bit wider. Add a little water to it and make it a little wider. I'm just pulling on the lip here. to it if I want to. Support here. Just groove. Add a little interest to it. The glaze will sort of sit in those grooves and do something different, hopefully. And that's basically it. That's the lid to test that it, it works, and one thing I want you to see is that it does have a very flat edge coming out. That's really important that it has this sort of semi-flat or flat edge over here. You can see that the lid is quite a bit narrower at the bottom where we're going to do trimming, but it's got kind of a long lip. That helps it sit in the gallery. Okay? So a way that you can see, does my lid fit my pot, <gasps> is to Turn this over. It's stuck. I didn't wire it off. And then you can check it. It's going to drop right in there. Okay. Okay. So if it looks like it's fitting, then you can wire the lid.